Are you ready to turn the Alluvium Overworld into a money-making machine? Get your tools ready because we're diving into the world of Alluvium and learning how to make the most of this free-to-play version of the game. How much could you possibly make per hour? That's the real question. I'll dive into some dubious speculation during this video and I'll go over all the data I've collected which includes the time taken with basic equipment and items obtained. I've even put all of this into spreadsheets to uncover the possibilities for you. I have a theory what the most popular items to obtain in-game will be. So with this formula we can determine what could be the most profitable gameplay. All this without spending a cent. Yep, I'm exclusively talking about the free-to-play version. I'll go over into what could possibly make per hour and how you could use your profits to reinvest for a more lucrative loop. The free-to-play version allows you to enter the overworld regions in stage zero for free. The regions look the same, but the items you collect are all classified as tier zero items. Even though they are tier zero, ore, shards, alluvials, etc. They are still valuable to players. For example, the ore can be forged to upgrade the essential equipment. And there are plenty of awesome alluvials. I'll go into more detail later. The currency used to purchase items in game is Ethereum. And this is what you generate when selling items collected in the overworld. You can then convert that back to dollars whenever you want. Alluvium has its own marketplace called the Alluvidex. I'm going to get serious for a sec. The Alluvidex is a designated marketplace for players to buy and sell items from each other. At the beginning of open beta, that's when the game's released. Every player will commence from the same starting position. No one will have an advantage prior to launch. The only advantage players will have to progress more quickly to catch the rarest alluvials is to purchase upgrades from the Alluvidex. This is where you come in and you will be the driving force. Just so it's clear, everything you collect in game, you own. If you don't like the game, you can just sell everything. But be warned, alluvials in the first set, aka season, are limited and will expire just like Pokemon cards. I believe early adopters will be rewarded long term with the alluvials. This could be remembered as the first NFTs with real utility and a fungible use case. Not to mention some of them are free and they still look, well you check them out for yourself, you know what I mean? Now what should you focus on collecting? Well players will always want to upgrade equipment, mag boots and jetpacks. These come in basic, advanced and supreme. So starting with ore to upgrade these items is a good bet. Plus it's essential for players who want to be the first to capture the rarest alluvials. If you're interested in knowing how the boots and jetpack compare, I've made comparison videos. They're in my guides plus tips and tricks playlist. There are over 1 million players interested in playing alluvium. And a lot are competitive players that will not hesitate to purchase equipment or alluvials to get an advantage on other players. It will accelerate the player's progress to be the first to obtain the extremely rare Stage 3 Tier 5 alluvials. I know I will. Oh, don't forget, there is also Dark Hollows, even more exclusively rare. So how much can you possibly make per hour? Please note, this is not financial advice and is only for your entertainment purposes. Let's break it down. Because Stage 0 regions are free to play, we can only use time as a metric to formulate a price for say stage 3 boots and stage 3 jetpack. I've done some mining runs, recorded the time taken and what was collected on average. Let's go through it. Okay, just before we dive in, let's do a quick inventory check. As you can see, basic visor, basic jetpack and basic mag boots. Let's go. Oh, and... Uh, as you can see, no attachments to Mozart. Okay, let's look to see what I've collected. Thirty-six minutes. That was for 
Tier 0 with no upgraded equipment. Stage 0, upgraded equipment. Let's have a look to see what I've got. Visor, Supreme. The jetpack is Supreme as well. And boots, they're Supreme. Uh, also upgraded our skin, just because we can. And we're going for mining power here because it is a free run. So we've got 30% and 15. Just remember that for a sec. And in the center here, we're going for the heat map. We're going for the heat map accuracy, 65 and 30%. I'll show you how cool that is once we get in. I think that's really handy. And this one here, uh, we're going for, if I can select it, we're going for the mining power again. So another 30% and 6% chance of duplicating mining. I don't think we need any more than 75% for the mining power. So that's 30 there and 30, 60 plus 15 is 75. So 75% mining power is more than sufficient and a little bit of a chance to duplicate some mining with 6% there. So yeah, I think this is uh, ultimately the best equipment you can have. Uh, you can reduce your costs obviously, but I think because tier zero is free to go to we're not worried about cost we're just purely going for time because that's the uh the element that um we're most scarce of so yeah let's go i'll show you the results at the end okay this is a prime example of the heat map when it's upgraded so if i show you pull up the heat map as you can see, it is telling us. If we were to run up here, we might go, okay. Normally this run down through here is normally pretty good to get out to the boneyard, but uh, yeah, it's looking pretty slim. So we won't even worry about that one. So yeah, we pretty much want to go up through here. This is where we're going to head. Let's have a look to see what we've obtained. Okay, how long's this run taken us? It's taken us 21 minutes. 21 minutes and 50 seconds. We'll just round that up to 22, I think. Okay, here's the info from the tier zero runs that I've completed. As you can see, um, we've got all the uh, items here that were collected in the runs and what we've done is this was the basic setup right here and this was the supreme setup. So time taken for basic was 36 and time for supreme was 22. Um, I've just done a rough guide here. So this is the important information we've got here. So each run with the basic equipment, um, we've got 58 of this one and 62 of this one compared to obviously 82 and 89. So one thing to take note of just before we move on, the basic um, equipment runs, I've left that generally with the green background here and the Supreme I've got as the yellow. So you've probably picked up on that. That's just basically, I'm gonna use that through each spreadsheet so you can understand. Um, so I did a little roundup with how much you can um, do per hour with the basic equipment and the Supreme. So basic there and Supreme again. And yeah, with the basic, you can do two runs roughly per hour. It does take you 72 minutes, it runs over. But obviously this is um, what you can do in the hour in terms of quantity of materials. And then with the Supreme, when, you've, when you're decked out with all your drone upgrades, this is what we're looking at. So yeah, these were the percentage differences. So as you can see, basically, you know, 200% better. And yeah, um, yeah, just just handy to know because obviously as people progress through the game, they're going to want to maximise their time. Okay, so let's just break this spreadsheet down and I'll just go over the basics. Um, on the left side here with all the green, this is the basic equipment used to mine the materials. And on the right side with the yellow background, it's the supreme equipment used to generate these materials. So these are the items that we're talking about and each column obviously goes straight down. So for the advanced boots, it requires 15 of this one and 45 of this one. And yeah, same here. So as you can see, these figures here and these figures here, they're actually the same. That's why they're grayed out. 
Yeah, and it's the same down here too. So when you want to go to stage three boots, it's 15.45, 15.45. It's exactly the same. Um, moving down the list, we've got this section here, which you require two of the common equipment drone components, which you have to deconstruct. But in order to make those, you obviously need this much ore and this much. So adding all that up, this is, this is the total amount that is required. And it's exactly the same over here. This is the total amount that's required of ore. Okay, so the basic equipment run, as you know from the previous spreadsheet, um, this is how much we generate each run. And with the Supreme, it was this much. That's how much we generate per run. Number of runs required. Um, I just put this in there for general interest, but we're actually using minutes to calculate this. So yeah, time required is the key factor here. Um, that's the formula that we've used to calculate everything. Down to the interesting bit, which is Supreme Boots. Total ore required is this much and this much. It's exactly the same over here. Doesn't change. Basic equipment mined. Same sort of details as before. Number of runs required. Anyway, time required. So we're looking at uh, here. 324 minutes if you just use basic equipment. Now we haven't counted using the forge or up putting stuff onto the alluvia decks. So, you know, we could easily say that that's six. We could easily say that this is it's a bit slow there. So we could easily say that this was six hours just for interest sake. And over this side with using the Supreme gear and that loadout that I showed you, you know, we're looking at 110 minutes. So we could, let's just round that up to uh, two hours. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm being rough here, but that's that's where we're at. So yeah, that's that one. The jetpack spreadsheet is exactly the same. So yeah, this is your ores that are required to generate. It's just sort of reverse. So it was 45 and 15. The last one was 15.45. Anyway, um, every all the calcs are pretty much the same. It just comes down to this. So you're looking at two hours here, and yeah. 4.2 there, so a little bit quicker. Um, let's just round that up to say five. I think that's fair. And this one here, yeah, we can say this is two. So we're looking at, uh, this is hours, yeah? Yeah, so that's our hours. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, so we're looking at five and yeah, on the previous one, it was six, but we, 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 we'll round that all out going forward. So now for the juicy bit, how much can you make per hour? In summary, it will take approximately five hours to upgrade to the Supreme. Okay, well, I wouldn't bother trying to sell that for say less than $1 per hour of gameplay. Maybe you would, but let's use this as the example. Then they sell for $5 each. So as you can see, for the sale of uh, using basic equipment, you're looking at $5 for the sale price, which equates to $1 per hour. And yeah, that's how that works. If you were to sell them for $10 using the basic equipment, you're looking at making $2 per hour. And if you were using all the advanced equipment, you know, maxed out drone components that I had, you're looking at making $5 per hour. So yeah, it really just depends on um, how many people are trying to buy it versus how many are trying to sell it. If we change that to 20, you know, obviously it just doubles it, you know, four for the basic and 10 for the Supreme. Um, yeah, I'd like to think that we just, yeah, that dollar per hour thing sort of makes sense to me. Um, and I thought it was a good spot to start. If you're looking forward to playing or you're an investor in Alluvium, please like and share this video. It can only help the game. Or maybe you just love the concept of being able to collect stuff and sell it. Either way, if you didn't dislike it, please leave a like. If you've only just discovered Alluvium, I highly recommend watching the Alluvium Overview video. I go into greater depth into all the game types and mechanics. It will greatly assist you understand the full ecosystem. Van Umbra, out.